Thank you so much, and thank you. Uh, good afternoon, and thank you for this uh, wonderful opportunity to present along with uh, so many wonderful teams and projects, coalition and projects. So one uh, very important aspect that's really allowing us all to meet here today via Zoom are battery technologies. And battery technologies are powering so many aspects of our lives. And the New Energy New York Coalition aims to power the future of American battery innovation and battery manufacturing. We have assembled a coalition of 13 members from across academic institution, government organizations, nonprofits, and community organizations, all with the aim of establishing um, a battery uh, industry cluster hub in upstate of New York. And with the aim of this hub being responsive to the needs of the regional community, of the state, of the growing battery industry, and as well as of the entire um, domestic battery industry in the United States. Um, and at this point, it is my pleasure to uh, introduce uh, Dr. Stanley Whittingham, who is the Nobel Laureate inventor of the lithium ion battery, who uh, is responsible for us being here today. And he is one of the co-leads of the New Energy New York Coalition to give you a better uh, idea of the vision of New Energy New York. Thank you very much, Olga. So what I'd like to do is put in perspective as to why we're proposing this um, activity. Every single one of you has at least one lithium battery on your person at the moment. All these are made in Asia. And the big challenge facing the US, and this hasn't changed since the 1970s, is all the inventions and the initial development made in this country is then sent out for prototyping and commercial cells in Asia. And also the entire supply chain is in Asia. These batteries then come back to supply our necessary needs in grid storage, EVs, electronics, and defense. We are planning to try to fix that. You can go to the next slide. So what we're planning as part of New Energy New York is a facility called Battery New York. This will develop totally new manufacturing approaches so we can leapfrog the Asian manufacturing methods. It will also allow the manufacture of full-size pouch and cylindrical cells. This is essential for um, small companies and even large companies and startups to actually build cells that they can test and evaluate and really de-risk large-scale manufacturing. So it's our goal to build this facility. The facility itself is going to be about um, $60 million in equipment. Um, this will then allow for commercial manufacturing in, in the southern tier of New York State, and we'll expand it to North America. So our hope is to bring back battery manufacturing to North America, this is obviously essential for US security. We've seen the issues with global supply chains with both semiconductors and with COVID masks in the last two years. So back to you, Olga. Thank you, Stan. So um, you might ask why the Southern tier of New York? In addition to this amazing coalition that we have assembled, we're also the home of New York State's first battery gigafactory that is opening up its manufacturing facility and getting the first cells ready uh, this year. And around this uh, gigafactory, we have um, an amazing ecosystem that has uh, research centers, academic um, and educational organizations, as well as incubation, uh, startup incubation services. And what New Energy New York um, project intends to do is to bring together uh, a number of complementary comprehensive projects to support the growth um, and sustain the growth of this ecosystem around the uh, gigafactory as well as to enable domestic production of um, batteries in the US. So as Dr. Whittingham has already uh, described the Battery New York uh, Center for um, manufacturing uh, technologies for development of batteries. Complementary to that, we also have a project that focuses on the build out of a domestic supply chain, starting with the regional supply chain, battery supply chain around the Gigafactory here in the Southern tier of New York with uh, supplier qualifications, um, helping companies connect to each other, helping companies, regional companies pivot to be players in the battery supply chain. 
We also have um, the Workforce Development Project, which brings together a number of regional uh, educational organizations that will help fill the demand of the growing battery industry, but in addition to providing new programs to address those growing workforce demands, this particular project will also uh, provide certain services to increase participation and overcome the barriers to participation for marginalized communities. Complementary to that, we have a project that's specifically focused on equity and justice to ensure that the benefits of Battery New York, the Gigafactory, and the growing industry cluster are shared across the board um, of our community, of our region, by communities that have been left behind and traditionally marginalized. In closing off this circle, we have the Acceleration Project, which is specifically designed to support um, the commercialization of new battery technologies and accelerate uh, their launch to market, both from academic innovations and startups alike. And when all of these uh, projects come together in a comprehensive and complementary manner, we anticipate uh, to see a very large benefits for not only the region, which we're anticipating 2 billion in private investment and up to 10,000 jobs that are created by the battery industry, but we will also be supplying the workforce necessary, but also at the end, um, at the end, uh, benefits for the entire battery industry in the United States. Thank you.